This is a digital tower demonstrator system that's being installed at Heathrow Airport. And some of the capabilities of this tower? We'll be providing two controller working positions as well as a video wall showing uh, panoramic views of the airport, pan tilt zoom cameras and an integrated ASM GCS display which enables radar labels on the aircraft. And could you show us how you operate this tower please? Absolutely. Seeing. On the video wall is a panoramic view of the northern runway at Heathrow Airport. We have integrated ASM GCS data which creates radar labels which track with the aircraft. We also have the ability to minimize these radar tags uh, in case of any congestion of the tags. We can also provide radar-like leader lines. We can make the tags larger again for visibility. You can also see that we have some graphical overlays of the runways and taxiways. These can be made brighter or a little lighter again. They're very effective at night. As you can see, aircraft are congregating at the holding point for runway 27 right at Heathrow. We have the ability uh, to show a departure list for controllers to give them situational awareness of the departure sequence. And we can do this with a voice command. Amy, show departure flight list. So we provide the departure flight list in the vicinity of where the controller is looking. This is to provide a more intuitive experience. Traditionally, we're asking controllers to provide information, but looking at it somewhere else. Now we're saying, if I'm looking at the holding point to maintain a departure sequence, I can see the departure sequence in that area. Likewise, with weather, every time an aircraft's departing, uh, we'll receive a wind check, so we can show the weather information, again, in the line of sight for the controller. Amy, show weather. So this is in the line of sight of the controller. You can give a wind check, so for example, 020 at 12 knots, clear for takeoff, runway 27 right. The controllers also have the ability to show this information or hide this information using our touchscreen panel here. On these touchscreens, we have some weather information, runway RVR, departures and arrival lists, as well as the, all the buttons to control the video wall features. On this panel beside us here, we have an ASM GCS type uh, data integration into the Sea Ridge UI map. We have the ability through, through this display to enter instructions such as take off, uh, showing us or show us the optimum taxi route. In terms of taxi routes, we have the ability to show this optimal taxi route or an alternate. Okay, we're going to demonstrate a potential safety net which we could evaluate as part of the demonstrator. Speedbird 883 is arriving on 27 right in amongst the departure, the departure sequence. What we've done is created a arbitrary detection zone that potentially within this detection zone to then depart an aircraft would be a little bit too tight. Um, if a controller was to try to clear an aircraft for takeoff at this point, it would show a safety alert. Shot at Yankee, clear for takeoff. As you can see, the alert is flashing on the runway, on the map, also on the visual heads up display. If I cancel the takeoff clearance, the alert is also cancelled. Speedbird 883 lands on runway 27 right. As he continues the rollout, the detection zone is extended up to the expected runway exit point. This runway exit point is Alpha 10 Echo. We've created a detection zone such that if the aircraft is still within the prescribed detection zone, and again we try to clear shortly at Yankee for departure, the safety alert will show again. Speedbird 883 is approaching the exit point right now. Speedbird 883 was cleared for takeoff. Now, Speedbird 883 is outside of the protection zone and we get an alert that it is now safe to depart the next aircraft. Version 23 Juliet on our display, we have the capability to show an optimal taxi route in green or a secondary taxi route in blue. The controller, of course, can choose either. 
features of the Sea Ridge Digital Tower System are available in some of our other locations. Primarily Budapest, Ongaro controls our tower system in Budapest is using the similar technology. We have runway overlays and also we have the ASM GCS integration to provide the radar-like data tags for aircraft taxiing and departing, arriving at the airport. Can that be extended to a remote tower? Absolutely. The digital tower functionality uh, relates to more of the digital sensor data that is available in the airport, which we can integrate such as sensors or weather information, radar-like data.